I'm in Shenandoah National Park. This is US Route 211. I'm on the west side of the mountain, just below Thornton Gap. That's 211 heading down the west side of the mountain towards Luray. There's a gray ghost. And I'm going to close the gray ghost up. And I'm going to head over this way and do some bushwhacking looking for uh, any evidence of an old ho homestead that I saw on, a, on an old map from the 1930s. The elevation here is 1,960 feet. Well, I'm still at this hairpin turn. Maybe you can see the guardrail up there. Uh, this might have been the old road right here, coming down through here and going across up that way. Here's Pass Run coming, coming down the side of the mountain. And I don't know, that, that kind of looks like it might have been the old road. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can get across here and uh, we'll push on a little further. Okay, well I got across without falling in. The rocks are pretty slippery though. There's the hairpin turn on 211 right there. My car is parked over that way. And uh, anyway, this looks like the old road right here. So uh, let me get my next waypoint and we'll head on this direction. Starting to push my way in here a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of rocks piled up here in a line heading back the way I came so I'm thinking that might have been the road. I'm going to follow this down a ways. It's generally in the right direction. Yeah, I don't know. For now, I'm, I'm going with the theory that what I'm looking at there is that I'm standing slightly below the road and that's the low side of the road and it's all armored up with rocks so the surface of the road would have been up there and it's heading down in that direction which is going in the right direction so let's keep going and see what happens Point three miles into my hike. The elevation here is 18 or 1980 feet. Um, that's I came from that direction over there, and I've been intermittently following the uh, rock piles that are on the side of the road. Now <clears throat> I lost them for a while, but now I'm at my waypoint LW2, and. Uh, I'm seeing rocks there again, and it looks like here it makes it makes a turn, a bit of a turn, and starts heading up in this direction. See that rock? See those rock piles up there, and heading up in that direction. And that's actually the correct direction for my. Then my next waypoint is where the homestead was. So we'll see. Let me see if I have it dialed in yet. Yeah, it's about a tenth of a mile up this way. So, just for the record, I repositioned this point LW2 slightly, and I repositioned LW1 slightly, which is LW1's back, back there next to the hairpin turn. So, that noise, if you can hear that in the background, there's a helicopter hovering in this area. They're trimming... Uh, trees away from the power line using a helicopter. So that's what that noise is. 
because I ran into some of the workers down there at the road. So anyway, let's head up this way, another tenth of a mile or so, and it's, according to the old maps, it's before we get to the pass run headwaters up here. Starting to see more rock piles, linear, linear rock piles. Here's one right here, not stacked up. But, so that could be, that could be part of a network of roads that came down through here. And I'm continuing on up this way. It looks like another pile of rocks, almost like a rock wall up there. I'll take a picture when I get up to there. Okay, here's another kind of like rock wall. I don't, I can't hardly tell if it was a wall or part of the road, maybe part of the road going heading up in that direction. So I'll get some still picks. More, more rocks here and more rocks over there straight ahead. And uh, according to my compass, the homestead location will be up this way a little bit. So we'll make a left-hand turn ahead up this way. Four tenths of a mile into my hike, I'm up to 2,030 feet. I've been climbing a, a little bit. The last rock pile I showed you is down there. And now I'm climbing. <clears throat> and I'm gonna call this a big rock pile. So there was something here, let's see. Right now I'm about, uh, 265 feet from the location <clears throat> on the old map about 265 feet away so I'm gonna keep heading towards that location see if I see anything else I'll mark this one on my GPS but that's that's not part of the road that's there was something there like a building and that's what's left of it This is looking like the driveway. I'm right here at the edge. Down there's pass run. This looks like the driveway. That's where I'm headed. Over there, it looks like a cedar post. I'll go over and get a picture of that. Here's the driveway heading back down the way I came. The helicopter's getting closer and closer. So let's head on up this way and see if we see anything else. I'm about 115 feet from the old map location of the homestead and here's a uh, like a cedar fence post looks to me like it was cut off at the top and down there some nails still in it looks like there was a, a board down there went across it at the bottom there near the bottom and the homestead location is a little higher up still up this way about a hundred let me look at my GPS about 120 feet so it could be anywhere at this point 
And the fact that there's a fence post here tells us that we're, we're basically there. So I'll look around and see what else I can find. Point 0.5 miles into my hike, I'm up to 2,070 feet. I am about uh, 90 feet from the old 1930s map location. I think this is it here. I'm going to relocate the homestead location to this area here. There's all these trees magically all fell down and piled up on top of each other. This is pretty much the end of the driveway. And then there's the driveway heading on down the ridge line here where I came from. I'll go back that way. The I can see that cedar fence post from here. It's over there. So I'm going to relocate my waypoint about, about 90 feet to this spot right here. Um, there's a there's a real Starting down there, from, from down there all the way up through here is just a huge rock pile that continues on up underneath the blowdown and it stops right up there. The driveway stops right up there. I climbed up a little higher looking for anything else and didn't really see anything. <clears throat> the headwaters of Pass Run are down here, so they could have gotten their, uh, in, unless they have a spring or dug a well, which I doubt, they could go down there and get their water out of Pass Run. I'll just do a 360 here, starting with Pass Run. That's looking towards Luray. That's the road coming up, driveway coming up here. Over that ways, about a half a mile is where my car's parked. The cedar post is over that way. And if you go, if you go much further in that direction over there, it, it starts to, the mountain starts to go up real steeply. And it goes up steeply back there too. So, this is probably it. This is a map of today's hike. The quadrangle name is Thornton Gap, 1994, and I was looking for an old homestead location that I found on a 1929 map. I'll show you that in a minute. It's uh, Shenandoah Track number 158, and it they don't have a name associated with it, so we don't know who owned it, and it was about 42 acre track. This is Thornton Gap, the top of the mountain. Here's the entrance to Shenandoah Park. You come down the west side of the mountain about a mile and you can park right here on the inside of this hairpin turn. Then you cross over the road and down to Pass Run and you have to find your way across Pass Run and as soon as you get over to the other side of Pass Run, you'll see a trace of an old road. And then I basically just followed that road. Uh, this is my waypoint LW1. And then I 
bushwhacked LW2, and then it makes a slight turn to the east, and then I fought, came up this ridge line here to this waypoint ER1, Elder Ridge 1, and that's where I found the homestead. Um, the house, of course, isn't there anymore, but there's piles of rocks, and I found there's a cedar post, a uh, fence post there, so I'm confident that's where it was. Got some pictures turned around and bushwhacked back to my car. So, was well, let me show you the other map first. This map is Stony Man 1929. And here's the hairpin turn, and you can see they're showing a, a dotted line road coming over to here, and then there's the, there's the uh, homestead location right there, that black dot. So I got the coordinates off of this map, and then put them onto a more modern map, like this one from 1994 and also into my GPS. Ended up being one mile and a total ascent of 174 feet. And that was the hike for today.